<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's Boston's Bless Witch, and today we are going to be doing some gypsy magic. So, let me get a comfortable spot for you guys to see. Alright, here we go. So let's see. We got let me get you front and center. Um nope, still not good enough. So let's get you like this. Okay. Well, with what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to hold you the same time as I do what I have to do. So I'm now sitting on the chair. So, wow, did you guys just see that? That orb? Totally my gypsy. So I'm going to put you guys on a brief hold while I invoke my gypsy. I'll be right back. So I just invoked her. I have an um, invocation that I invoke her with. And and she is not camera shy. So she will definitely be... Um, definitely be around. Gypsy, if you'd like to make yourself shown, that is perfectly fine. On this camera here. Give her a second to come out of the vessel and make her way. I just got that actually that that picture up there I love that tree so beautiful um, just reminds me of the you know the tree of life um, so anyway I could have I just saw her go that way all right so today um well, I give her offerings. I, um, that is just she. I get a uh, earthly feeling out of my gypsy. Um, I feel like she likes colors. Um, what gypsy doesn't really? I mean, look, <laughs> she has the these beautiful embroidered um, tabletop here placemats. And I got it's like a like a like a pit, like a olive green, and I have water in that, and then I have um, wine in here, and I give her a you know piece of a donut. Hey, nice morning treat. Um, I give her whatever flowers I I find. Um, I don't know what these are called, but. They actually, they're pretty. They actually match the background that she's in. So, I love to um, keep her color theme going. And I, I have her resting on a pillow in the back. So, and I have a perfume that I spray on her when I invoke her. Um, a lot of practitioners like to have a sense that they think that they are spirit would like or the spirit tells them that they like so she definitely told me that she likes this so and the bell it's very common in a lot of traditions to call the spirit and to um let the spirit know to come forth out of the vessel and to um come communicate so right right now what i have going on is um I had Neg Champa um, burning. Now I have Lucky Coin, and um, I have Frankincense and Myrrh to clear up the area. <clears throat> so 
I actually made a quick, where's my bottle? I just made a quick um, oil. It's with essential oils, and this one is for um, f mentally focusing, um, clarity, revitalizing, and it just, oh my god, it smells, mm, and happiness, and, and, and just invigorating, so it's a very positive one. I actually have to put the label on it because I just made it a few minutes ago. So let's keep that up there. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I'm actually gonna make a little cross here. So she can get the scent as well. Um, let's see if she likes that. So, okay. A lot of people think that gypsies are just used for tarot readings <clears throat> and crystal ball gazing, tea leaf readings, etc., etc. Um, they are, but let me make sure the volume is all the way up here. Okay. They are, but um, you can also do spell work with them. I've done candle magic with her. I've done freezer spells. I've done just verbal spells with her. And she has um, came through for me every time. Never lets me down. She's a very gentle soul. Um, and she is also an ancestor that I found out. So I really, really love the fact that, um, that she is. So... Today we are going to, let me see if I can sit her down. Sit you guys down right here so you can see what I'm doing. And so right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, I'll, I'll face you towards this way. Well, actually, you know what, no, because I'm going to be doing the work right here. So let's, all right, so. Or actually, I'll face you towards the candle for right now. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is um, um, we're going to be doing a tarot read. So today, I'm going to kind of pass that scent through my tarot deck, wipe down the happy revitalizing um, oil I had made pass it through the incense and now always knock on the deck To knock out any energies that has been picked up from before. So now let's do the deck. I can't do it from afar, so let me let me um let me shuffle the deck real quick, and let's get a move on. So I'm just gonna have her, you know, um, let me know what's going on. Any messages she needs to give me. So let's see what she... Let me shuffle. I like to shuffle a couple times. And I'm actually going to back the chair up so I can sit down on the floor here. Because um, I like to spread them in a couple spots. Put them around a little bit. And then what I do is one more shuffle. Oh 
All right. And now what I always do is I ask her, Gypsy, please always give me the right answer. Always lead, lead me to the truth and always warn me of things going on, whether positive or negative. Always lead me to the right answer. And then I'd say amen. So let's do a, let's pull out a couple of cards. All right, so right here, I've gotten the justice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of wands and the two of wands. Justice cards, what do they represent to you? They represent to me law. Um, and I actually am going through something that is very personal. Um, I really don't want to put my business out there, but I'm going to. Um, somebody had stolen uh, a lot of money from my husband over the summer. And somebody had also stolen, like, has done a lot of credit card fraud has done a lot of bad to my husband and I've been working on him um, a lot lately so justice I know that's speaking of him one two three four five six the six of wands okay so somebody's gonna be coming in with news and with good news you know, he's writing in, people are happy that he's coming in. And I know what this is about. Um, we have a person investigating the case and good news is on the way. I know that. And this is going to be where are we going to go from here. So this is the pet, you know, this is the, the fork, the fork in the road, the, 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 where do I go from here card, um, travel, um, do I want to get away? Do I want to stay? Um, so this is very much indicating um, what is going on in my life and it is accurate. So let me pull two more cards. Okay, so this is victory over battle. You know, we've, 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 we've won. We've won. But just within the cards, we don't know where to go. Like if I line them up, I'm going to line them up on the floor so you get a better idea. See how it, it, it tells it tells a story. So the story is right now what I just told you up here. Now with these two cards right here, it indicates, you know, um, we had to fight like hell to get all this information, and we felt stuck. We felt alone, blind, didn't know what to do. And then the final card is celebration, marriage. You know, I mean, um, it, it, it definitely means celebration. Um, me and my husband, we're not technically married. I've been with him 10 plus years. And I call him my husband, so I mean, I really don't care. But hey, maybe that means, you know, marriage for me, you know. Who knows, but it, this definitely overall means that we're definitely court 
Lar is involved. His, um, like I said, we have an inside source that is working on the investigation. Um, really good stuff. Where do we go from here? We get to choose. We get to choose the path of our fate. You know, and this is what we, and this is how we felt. You know, we were fighting a battle, an unseen battle that we did not know about. You know, it was like our phones were getting hacked. You know, everything was going on, and then finally, everything put together. This is what I'm happy about. This card right here. That that was a beautiful read. That was a dead on read. So, um, that's why I love her. She never lets me down. She always, always gives me the truth. And I couldn't have been happier. So, um, if you have any questions on, on, um, any, any of the tarots, I do, um, free tarot Tuesdays. And you can catch me on my Facebook or go to my store um, I'm, or my website. I'll link, I'll link to the des descriptions below and you can contact me. Um, I'll leave all my links below and you can contact me and do free tarot reading Tuesdays. And I pick two people for the day. So um, I'll be the first two people. And we can go from there. So, blessed be, guys. Have a nice day.